Hey guys. Welcome to the full guide on how to complete no rest for the wicked solo stealth without using the mask. First, I want to address some important information. Every camera on this map can have one of two random spawn locations. Key spots, such as the control room, security room, and certain items, can also be in different places, which I will showcase. One crucial tip, if you restart the heist directly from within the game, it will retain the same randomized locations, key codes, and so on. This allows you to gather information, such as the key code for the safe, restart the game, and then easily complete it. However, if you go back to the main menu, the game will randomize again. Now, let's dive into the guide. Firstly, there are two possible spawn locations for the van where we'll drop our stolen loot. Remember this location for the end of the heist. Also, keep an eye on the cameras around you. Head to the door and lockpick it. You can practically force it open without anyone noticing. Wait for the narrator, Shade, to complete her dialogue. If you move too quickly, she won't provide the essential information we need. Our next step is to disable the power source. All right. now disable Listen the closely to Shade. Security. The controls are in the power room upstairs. She'll indicate where the controls are located. If she mentions they're upstairs, there are two potential rooms it could be in. But if she says on the roof it will always be in the same location. Next, head to another door and unlock it. You can force your way through since the guard is quite oblivious and the camera is positioned far away. From here, make a mental note of the camera locations. Moving directly under them ensures they don't spot you. For instance, the camera here could also be on the opposite wall. Most NPCs aren't very observant, so you generally don't have to be overly cautious. However, be wary in the hallway, as there's a patrolling guard and a camera. Another guard might descend the stairs as well. Our first objective is to stealthily steal the red access card from a guard. I prefer doing it near these doors, but always ensure the other guard isn't coming down the stairs. If he approaches, wait for him to pass. It's worth noting that these guards are relatively lenient. If they spot you, they'll merely escort you out, and you can attempt the task again. You can even nab their card while being escorted, provided there aren't any cameras or NPCs watching. Our next step is to find a QR code on a phone to scan. There are four possible nearby locations. If it's in one particular spot, you can also check a nearby safe for extra loot. Exercise caution in this area. NPCs will alert guards if they see you lockpicking. Now, we need to ascend to the upper level to scan the QR code by the doors. Be cautious of the patrolling guard. Consider placing a camera to monitor his movements. The next item on our list is the blue card, which another guard possesses. Here's an ideal spot to snatch it. Proceed to the control room next. There are two possible spots for it on this level. Once inside, hack the computer, activate the cable controller, and remember the displayed pattern. This indicates the cable we must sever to access the safe. The alternative location for the control room is on this floor.
The corresponding room always houses the security cameras. If Shade informed you that the control room is on the roof, follow this route. Navigating the roof can be quite tricky. What the hell was that noise? After that, you could theoretically approach the safe and guess the code combination based on fingerprint trails. But with potentially over 16 combinations, it's not efficient. Instead, we'll kidnap the executive, forcing him to provide four potential codes. Although this step requires using a mask, once you have the codes, you can either restart or continue. The executive is usually found around this area. Navigate carefully around cameras and guards while carrying him. Recall the pattern from the control room? Now's the time to cut the corresponding wire. When the opportunity arises, head to the vault with the executive. Hey, Be mindful of the potential camera spawns around the vault. You'll need to position the executive next to a specific panel. Subsequently, the potential codes will be sent to the manager's PC, which is usually located in an office. Head there, securing the executive safely on the route. As you'll see in my example, I was detected, but it was inconsequential as I obtained the code. If this computer is in this room, it's unfortunate RNG. Jot down the four possible codes. If you weren't detected, you can continue. If aiming for a mask less completion, restart. Now, repeat the previous steps, excluding the executive phase. Your approach to the vault will depend on the van's location and camera positions. When you access the safe, try all four combinations. Once inside, I recommend unlocking these storage units first, but if you're in a hurry, you can focus solely on the primary stash. Opening all storage units also earns you an achievement. After unlocking the main vault doors, act quickly to disarm the die packs. You can opt to steal die tainted cash, but its value is reduced. Toss the money bags out like this, ideally to teammates. You can also leave them, but guards might get suspicious. Finally, transport all the bags to the van without any issues.
And there you have it. I've also included a full completed run for reference. The bank's vault is brimming with cash, waiting to be transported out of there. We need to get past that gate in front of the vault. The gate's door is sealed magnetically. You have to disable the power or you won't get it open. Find the circuit breaker that powers it. Alright, now disable the switch box's security. The controls are in the power room upstairs. Spotted a guard. Camera. Watch the guard. the guard. Guard, over there. Watch the guard. the switch you need to flip to get the door open. There's the camera. Spotted a guard.
try out the new Watch the camera. Executives to get us into the vault. They'll be easy enough to spot. Just keep an eye out for that corporate look. Access denied. That's not the right code. Wait a moment to give it time to reset. Camera. Access denied. The money is rigged with dye packs. Once the door opens.
There's a safe deposit box in this bank belonging to an executive from the Wixia Corporation. That concludes our tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.